uh, to uh, do a groovy battle with each other, uh, to test uh, your uh, groovy experience and to uh, yeah, compete with each other. Uh, I have software available on which you can log in and then uh, you can do assignments. So it's um, uh, not only my software, it's software made by the Dutch Java user group and we use it for a couple of years and we are going to use it right now. My name is, uh, so um, there will be 30 minutes of groovy questions, you get points and the person with the high, highest score wins and will be the groovy master. Um, so the, to show you uh, what it's like, uh, I'll show you uh, a picture of last um, uh, competition uh, of the Dutch Java uh, user group. It should work. Uh. <laughs> Wait a minute. In, in Holland, we like to do competitions with each other. Uh, we are, we're aiming for um, a sort of a Dutch championship for Java uh, developers. And uh, the software is open source, so you can use it also in your, your country. So uh, having uh, 100 uh, developers competing at each other is a is a yeah cool event. And I didn't win last year, but I made the assignments. Okay, so short about me, I m develop on that software project to facilitate competitions between Java and Groovy developers. I also have a hacker space in my spare time in Eindhoven. Uh, this is the building. And uh, yeah, in every, uh, t twice a week, um, software engineers uh, uh, yeah, are, are can uh, develop in that uh, place. And uh, also on this project, the Master of Java. In my professional life, I work for First Aid, uh, a Groovy consulting uh, company in the Netherlands. So this, uh, uh, you saw also in the movie, is the picture about last event. Um, yeah, we do this uh, e kind of event uh, since 2003. And each year it becomes bigger, um, especially the last years, uh, because I saw that software and I said, uh, let's make it uh, groovy. So um, this is uh, when it's, you, you can see in 2003 it started. It's a long time ago. There was uh, Java 1.4. And uh, they used Swing, and uh, yeah, they thought it was really hot that day, that time. Um, using that now is uh, uh, like going back in time, but it, it gives some extra experience to the to the uh, Groovy competition. So you will be uh, programming Groovy in a Swing IDE, and I added myself some Groovy goodness to it. So it, it's better than before, but still it's old. So this is how you can connect. Um, th this is um, what you need to do yourself if you have a laptop. Uh, you can uh, log in on this router um, and um, then you can uh, get, uh, go to a website and um, fill in um, your, your name and then you can do the competition. So um, I'll show you uh, what the website looked like. This is what it looks like. Um, so, uh, so, so. Oh, the this is the router router for for G, for Groovy. And the password is Groovy two thousand seventeen. Are the people uh, having problems with finding the router? People... Uh, so, 
the IP address is the IP the address of this computer where the software is hosted. Oh. Are the people who are already on the site? Doesn't connect? Okay. Uh, no, no, it's, it, we, we tested it. It, it should work. Um, who has uh, an Apple? Okay, that should work. We just tested that. Um. It should work. Host is down. Uh, I will re reset it. Colleagues uh, of me, mine, who could help. Um, uh, can I ask them to uh, assist? Yeah. Okay. The IP address should be fine. Uh, the IP address is that uh, toch goed? Of, uh, yeah. But but you have an Apple, you told me, right? Uh, maybe uh, you can replace the IP address by um, the words MadSpace. That's the name of my hackerspace. Mad space um, with a D. No luck. No. Oh. Uh. Uh, uh, 4G. Yeah. Can you do it?
Do you have it? It worked? <laughs> it's, e it's, it's, it's yeah, it's easier now because <laughs> then people <laughs> have left. <laughs> it's still the same uh, honor. <laughs> okay. It should work now. So it shows um, that three users already uh, are logged in. So now you can download the Java client. Have you tried to download the uh, via this this link huh? you, you don't have connection anymore okay so uh, now you have to uh, download uh, a swing client uh, if you could see it via uh, via this uh, this link download game client okay that's great um, so, do you see also coding running? Yeah, okay. So now you can uh, do the assignment. Um, it's this one. So, you and Juke, that's the story behind it, are employed at Groovy Cash, a payment solution uh, provider. So, you have a bug report and uh, some money slipped away. And so you need to solve the bug uh, to make the system working again. See some people already testing. Uh, Jacob is testing. Uh. So, so here you see uh, how the client works. Uh, you have a, a button called testing and it tests your assignment. And there's a, 
um, a coding file uh, with with um, with in, with impl uh, impl dot groovy, and here you can make the changes. And um, yeah, here is also um, yeah, yeah. You need to 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 know what to adapt, and you can do th learn that by uh, reading the bug. And actually what happens is that uh, the amount of money, um, it, is, it has been multiplied by 100. So you need to find the place where the, the incorrect multiplication appears. Um, yeah, you, you press test. So if, if you, like this. So, uh, and I, I can give you more advice. Uh, the the error is in uh, the uh, file gateway.groovy, uh, but you cannot adapt that file. But the error is here, and this is what's going wrong. The, the amount is multiplied by 100, and um, so everything is uh, 100 too big. But you cannot change that file. You have to. You can only change this file. So your solution has to be in this file. So to help you m more, um, this value is, is duplicated by 100 each time, which should not be. So you need to make sure that you uh, make a, a correction on, on this value that is too big.
we still have two minutes. But it, it will look like this. You, you, um, Groovy sets the value. You know that the value is too much. So you have to make your solution here. So here's the input. You have to um, ensure that this error is um, neutralized. And because you, you, we only have one minute left, and you still have an option to, uh, to win. But this is, how the, this is how my solution is. And it works. If I press this button, submit, it asks, are you sure? It says yes. So this is the uh, first game. <laughs> so, so Christian is leading us with 19 points, but uh, there will be next game coming. Are you ready for next game? Next game has started. Um, I, maybe you have to log in again. I don't. I'm not sure. Can you log in again? So the idea is that uh, it's a code, a groovy project for rhyming, and you have to. Uh, Finish the rhyme checker. Uh, there's a, some software in it that, uh, yeah, that can distinguish um, rhyme from text, and it's called Soundex. So you have to use this, that software, and then um, So this soundex function um, has to be finished. So these rhymes are understood.
So the first step you can take is by stripping the line uh, of, of, a, of a rhyme. Uh, and that is done, for instance, by this. Replace all uh, not in this reach. Then you, uh, every um, character that is not ne needed is removed. It's the first step. And then you can take the last word out of that sentence. So that, that would be easy. So I don't have to demo it. You can do it yourself. And then there is a method for retrieving the last syllable, so the last sound of a sentence. And, and so uh, after this, you have a, um, a sequence of sounds. Getting the last word out of the sentence is easy, like this. But how about the last um, syllable? So the last two minutes. So this is how you can uh, make the last syllable. Syllable. Um, it's in the first line. It finds the last vowel, and um, yeah, then uh, that's enough. So this is the estimation of the last sound. So this is how the program would look like.
and the time is going up. Uh, time is gone. My score is zero. Okay. So I guess this exercise was very hard. Uh, but um, at uh, the, yeah, the, the competition we had uh, lately, it was uh, everybody uh, was able to do it, but they had half an hour to do it, and we only have 10 minutes. Um, so the last assignment, which might be the most fun, is uh, this one. Maybe you have to log in again. This is a file we are able to adapt, and uh, it contains a Java 8 method to walk through files. And so you have to find the files with um, values and, 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 and count them. And so you know yeah, the amount of uh, numbers in all files. minutes yeah oh, okay the next talk will start soon so I'll um, say something about what the solution should be maybe uh, you can type it uh, also and uh, finish the assignment so here it, uh, it, is, it it reads all lines via streams it filters uh, yeah all li all lines with um, this uh, total prefix, and then uh, it sums, um, yeah, the numbers on that line, and this is how, uh, with streams and with the Java uh, eight walk three uh, uh, function, uh, can be uh, computed. So use Java eight. Uh, the Java 8 API and um, streams. So. It says um, it was correct. So um, the, the time is short, so I have to finish. Um, there's 
can only one win be one winner and uh, it's the computer will decide oh, was Christian who had um, um, assi assignment well but uh, the score got lost so somehow uh, so which Christian oh congratulations <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, you can uh, yeah download the framework uh, uh, via a Bitbucket address. I will type it in here. So this is the place of the framework, and you can uh, also facilitate Java Groovy competitions. So it's uh, bitbucket.org, first eight masters of Java software. So that, that was uh, what I had to say. About, um, hopefully, hopefully you also like to facilitate coding games in Denmark. Yeah, thank you.